Welcome to Mickey Study Circle channel. In this video, we shall see how to do the computer drafting of the development of the lateral surfaces of the solids using the Solid Edge software. In this problem statement, we have a square prism of 30 mm side of the base and height 50 mm, which is resting on HP on one of its vertical faces, which is inclined at an angle of 40 degrees to VP. It is cut as shown in the figure, and we need to draw the development of the lateral surface of the prism. So this is one variety of a problem wherein the cutting plane inclination is not defined but the way in which the prism is cut will be detailed in the figure and with respect to that we need to construct the development of the truncated portion of the prism. So now we will just take a detailed understanding about the prism and the way it is cut. So initially it is a square prism which is measuring 30 mm that means all the base edges are measuring 30 mm and it is having a height of 50 mm. So this is the first conclusion. Next is it is resting in such a way that one of its edges is inclined to the vertical plane at an angle of 40 degrees. So all this is given in the question itself. So now we shall mark the salient points at which the cutting plane is going to cut the portion of the prism. So the dark lines that we can see this is the cutting plane. So now we shall go for the annotate, select the text option. So now we shall mark the salient points. So now we can understand that the first edge that is from A1 dash to A dash, the cutting plane is intersecting at a point here. So let us call this as point 1 dash. And similarly, here it will be the point 1. In the front view, the point on which the cutting plane is intersecting the edge that is a1 dash a dash is 1 dash and on the top view it is 1. So next point we will see that is on the edge b1 dash and b dash. So here the cutting plane is intersecting the uh, edge running from b1 to b1 dash in this point and let me annotate this point as 2 dash. And next we have got the next uh, edge that is c1 dash to c dash and here you can see that it is cutting or it is intersecting the edge c dash at the origin itself so let me call this point as 3 dash and on the top view it is 3. So moving on to the next part that is d1 dash to d dash so the cutting plane is making an interaction here that is it is trying to meet this particular edge here and this point is called as 4 dash and then here it is the point 4. So coming to the other uh, points you can just see that uh, in between B to D or in between D to A uh, it is again uh, cutting the uh, rectangular uh, face. So we can just ensure that this will be the point phi dash that is from D to A and similarly here I can label this as 2 dash comma phi dash. So we'll also be having the point phi dash here. So we'll just arrange this. So this is the point 2 dash which is on b1 dash and b dash and then this is the point of intersection that is on a dash and d dash it is given by the point phi dash. So if you can just look at the image uh, here all the points that is 1, 2, 3, 4 are lying on the corresponding edge lines but whereas it is the point phi dash which is lying on a1 dash and d dash so uh, that is ad in the top view. So we can just have the measurement here. So we'll take the measurement using the distance between option from this point to the point of intersection of this projection line and which is equal to 4.83 mm. So we have to mark this in the development. So we shall see how the development can be done. So we understood that it is a square prism which is measuring 30 cross 50. So what we can do is we shall draw the line. So along with the reference from the xy line itself we shall construct the line in such a way that it is divided into four equal parts of 30 cross 50 so the base is 30 followed by 30 again and then 30 again and next 
30. So we have got the four points and then the measurement of the height of the prism will be equal to 50 mm. So this is 50 here and then we'll try to construct the top edges of the prism when it is cut open. So we shall join the corresponding uh, top and the bottom corner points to get the edge lines. So this is the initial condition in which the square prism is cut open. So you can just see that each edge is measuring 30 and the height is 50. So now to do the development, uh, we follow the procedure that the points which is there on the edge lines, they will be done by, uh, they will be marked by drawing the corresponding horizontal projection lines. So before we do that, let us annotate this. So this is A1, we can use the capital letters because it is the actual length that we are showing here. So this is A1 and this is A, similarly this is B, uh, B1 and this is B. Then we have got C1 and C followed by D1 and D and then back to A1 and A. So if you just meet this part of A1, uh, A and then uh, this A1 and A will be uh, getting a closed uh, prism. So that is how we try to annotate the cut section of the prism. So now we shall draw the horizontal projection lines. So the point one is on A A1 and we shall extend this to this part of A A1 also. And next we have got the point two, which is on the B B1 line. And next we have got the point three, which is there on the C C1. And next we have got the point four on D D1. And also we have got the point 5 so that is from D to A so what we can do is we can simply draw the line from D to A whose measurement will be equal to 4.83 so just use the distance between so this is equal to 4.83 so now we have got the point here so we'll complete the development so for that select a line of thickness 0 0.50 mm so let us begin with the point uh, one which is here that is on a a1 followed by the point two which is on b b1 followed by the point three which is on c c1 that is here again back to d d1 that is the point four and then we have got the point five here and then back to the point one. So this is the development. So now we shall join the vertical lines to the base of the prism. we can use the annotation to mark the points here. So this is point one, and this is point two, the point three, and here we have got the point four, and this is the point five, and back to point one again. So this marks the development. So you can just write the development So this completes the solution for the given problem statement. So here the cutting plane and its orientation was initially mentioned in the question itself. So what we are going to do is in case of the manual construction, we are going to redraw this, then construct the cutting plane and then mark the points and then proceed with showing the development. So this completes the problem. Thank you all for watching.